scholarships, awards, and accolades for students and teachers as our school year winds down. And that's just some of the good news. Quad Cities from Sean Larry at QuadCities.com who joins us now with our May edition of our ever popular segment about all that's the good right stuff. it's called what's the good news what's, paula what's the good it's news? all about good news positive news in the quad cities Always. that you can get for, uh, every day for free on quadcities.com free anytime you want anytime you want you you're up quad in the City. middle of the night that's right you go Can't to quadcities.com and there you go and also i'm going to break this brand new news paula on your show okay. we are about to debut the quadcities.com app in the app store nice so you can sign up for the kind of stories you like and we'll give you you know say you want to learn about concerts coming to the tax slayer center you can fill it out little thing and then we will uh you know give you a little so push what people want to hear about what, that, what that, you want to hear nice. about you custom can, you custom we custom like news to like you to, right to your phone right to your app well let's start with this uh this art teacher mm -hmm. she's uh, just going to Great guns, right? Yeah, Someone this else. is awesome. Yeah. She is one of 15, just 15 art teachers nationwide to get this award. It is the Art Sonia wow. Art Educator Award. Her name is Megan Purcell. She has been teaching for 17 years. She's a teacher at Herbert Hoover and Mark Twain Elementary Schools in Battendorf. <laughs> and she teaches art. And um, Art Sonia is actually, it's the uh, biggest uh, online art gallery, student art gallery in the world. Hmm. And so it's a pretty prestigious award. She's one of only 15 people to get it. So yeah. pretty amazing, That's awesome great. job for Megan Purcell. Yeah, over in North. congrats, Megan. That's really special. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and we have sharp students around here. Yeah, we do. Uh, so this, this uh, Davenport Central senior who wants to be, uh, yeah. well, she's, is she graduating? She is. She's yes. a senior at Davenport Central. Okay. Her name is Maitreya Shrikande. And she has won the Thomas Anthony Dooley Scholarship for twenty thousand dollars. Twenty grand, future that, doctor, right that's there. That's right. Uh, in order to even be eligible, you have to be in the top ten percent of your class, and you have to have an overall GPA of at least three point seven. So, very bright young lady, excellent student, and uh, she's going to be going to Augustana. Yeah. Uh, she's going to be majoring in psychology and pre med. And she's actually been volunteering at Genesis uh, since eighth grade. Yeah. So she has a heck of a background, uh, incredibly intelligent young woman, and of course we wish her the best. Oh, that, that's a nice scholarship. $20,000. Family that's have to be uh, very excited mm -hmm. about that. And the, uh, other kinds of careers, everything from welding to um, you know being a, a CNA. That's right, tis the season. Uh, kids are starting to get out of school, and so they're looking at their future. And a number of Rock Island High School students, as well as students around the district, there were 60, 60 area students who signed up um, for apprenticeships mm -hmm. uh, during Qu the Quad City Chambers signing day recently, and they're going to be starting their apprenticeships in June. As you mentioned, welding is one of the disciplines in which they're going to be going into. But yeah, um, there are a lot of ways in which people can make a career and can enjoy oh, a yeah. great life and an awesome job. And uh, these students are pursuing their dreams as well. And uh, that's a great program that Rocky has. It is. Yeah, so Very good for them. Very much so. Yeah. Uh, okay, now what's next? What do we have coming up? Quad City Heart Walk is coming up June 11th. Uh, starts at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And that's going on at Schwieber Park in Rock Island. And you can also do it mobile. You can do the mobile heart walk as well. I think they came up with this during COVID where people mm -hmm. didn't just have to show up and do the heart walk when you know everyone else does. You can do it on your own. The big uh, overarching picture is helping out you know, heart disease and heart related uh, um, illnesses. Well, that's so. a big one because uh, heart disease is still the number one killer it is. of men and women in it this is. country. So there you go. The, the Quesi's Heart Walk is, is one of the better ones. It's really, it's, a, it's, it's a very well attended is it what is. I mean. Yeah. And it's for a great cause, yeah, obviously. Absolutely. Okay, so uh, Iowa schools now, uh, we're, we've got a new hire, right? You do. Uh, Courtney Olson, she has been hired as the Director of Equity and Learning Supports. And uh, she's already been working in the district, working in early literacy and uh, special education priority areas. And this helps all kids uh, get an educa the educational opportunities, the same educational opportunities. And um, it's a, a great hire, and it's also going to be a great thing for uh, Davenport students. And on the Illinois side, we've got some uh, some big money that the government is yeah. uh, working over. Yeah, over a hundred thousand dollars in infrastructure grants have been awarded to uh, th three Illinois uh, villages. And when you think of infrastructure, you usually think of highways and, and uh, you know, bridges and, and things yeah. like that. Uh -huh. um, Morrison got forty-eight thousand dollars to help fix their library. The roof needed repairs. They needed uh -huh. some other repairs. So, uh, Okwokwa. Aquaqua. 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 
I know that's a, that's a tough one. Isn't it? Oh, quaka. Oh, 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 I defer quaka. to your expertise it's on this. It's Paula. a quaka. Is it's it a, a quaka? quaka? I just okay. got it. It's a quaka. Very good. They're getting forty-three thousand right? dollars. Okay. I'm not going to try to pronounce. You can pronounce it. Paula. A quaka. A quaka. They got forty. They what she said. Uh, they got forty-three thousand uh, dollars for a police vehicle and uh, Williams Field. I can pronounce that one. Uh, they got five thousand um, dollars to uh, help make their village hall wow. handicapped, handicapped accessible. Well, you know, if with that mo without money like that that comes in, Sean, a lot of these towns can't afford to do any of that, that stuff. That is right, and yeah. that's why these are such a big deal. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Com and uh, and soon with the app, uh, when are you going to launch it? You said this summer. It's coming up. Yeah, I've okay. already got the got it on my phone, so it's oh, gonna be coming nice. up in the next couple of weeks, Paula. Looking Don't worry. Ne by the next time I'm on this show, uh -huh. I'll have it on my phone. I'll be able to show you. And We're everything. show you all about all about mm -hmm. the app. Thanks, Sean. Thanks.